Hi, my name's Marion Waite. I was born in New Zealand in the 50s and I loved walking through the bush with my dad. He'd name every plant, every bird, every insect. I had a beautiful childhood. I loved it. I live in Sydney. I came back to New Zealand about five or six years ago, so um, 2010-2011 and I wondered why the bush was silent and everybody had cancer and then I discovered 1080. I've been doing research about it ever since finding out and I thought oh my gosh once the government understands how dreadful this stuff is they'll ban it immediately and then I started hitting brick walls and I thought follow the money and then I started to unfold the corruption and just the horrible business of 1080 and how insidious it is. So I've been uh, doing a series of paintings, I'm an artist, I've been doing a series of paintings about 1080 and I try and capture in one image my passion and my uh, interpretation of what's going on. So for my final year at art school at the National Art School I chose to do a possum that had been 1080 and washed down a pristine alpine stream onto a west coast beach where it was a killing machine the whole way. You get the initial poisoning of the animal which is terribly 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 inhumane. Then it runs to water because it's thirsty, it's, it dies in the water. Now the insects come along and eat it. Now they're the secondary kill. Then the birds come along and eat the insects and they're the tertiary kill. But this possum is a killing machine. It spreads all sorts of diseases like uh, it putrefies the water all the way down as it slowly gets washed down it doesn't rot it mummifies so by the time it lands on the west coast beach the 1080 is in the bones and a dog just has to come along sniff or lick or or bite into it and then it has an agonizing death and it doesn't stop there because once it goes out into the sea all the marine life and all the plankton, uh, e everything in the biosphere is affected by this 1080. It goes into the sludge. Sure, they test the top of the water. Oh, we can't find it. Oh, it's biodegradable. Oh, it's like a cup of tea. Oh, it's as bad as salt and vinegar chips. Well, that's all rubbish. I just cannot believe the way New Zealand people have been groomed into believing this propaganda. No, they have control of the media, they have control like you wouldn't believe of the environment and everything they are telling you is a fabrication. Do your own research like I did. I'm very passionate about this subject and I'd like you to come and see some of my paintings.